Test Inspector Routing This is a protocol in data network that helps to determine the best route for data packets to travel in a network channel. Hi guys and welcome to yet another interesting video by Simply Learn. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Now without further ado, let's take a look at the agenda for today's video. In today's session, we will look into the introduction for distance vector routing, continuing with some key points for routing protocol, moving on to distance vector routing algorithm. In the end, we will look into some examples to better understand the routing protocol. Now let's move on to the first setting for this session, that is introduction to distance vector routing. Distance vector routing refers to the distance or the vector that is between the neighboring nodes in a network channel. And the routing part refers to the established route through which data packets are transmitted in the network channel. The other aspect of this routing protocol in a network channel is to determine the shortest path for a data packet in the network to reach its destination. Next, we will look into some key points regarding the routing protocol. For routing protocol, three primary key points are to be remembered. First one being, each router in this protocol is designed to share the vector data of each node throughout the network. This step is done to maintain proper circulation of data in the network channel. The next key point is the routing pattern in the network protocol. That is, the data shared by the routers is transmitted only to those nodes that are directly linked to a particular router. The last key point is that the routing protocol is designed in a manner that it shares the updated vector data periodically at the network channel. Now let's move on to the next heading that is the algorithm used in the protocol. The algorithm used in this protocol is termed as Bellman fold algorithm. This algorithm defines the shortest path that a data packet can take to reach its destination node from an initial node. Where D of XY refers to the least distance from a node X to node Y. Moving on, we have C of X comma V, where X's cost from each of its neighboring V node is taken into consideration. Then we have D of VY. This is the distance of each neighbor from its initial node. And lastly, min of v. This is an abbreviation we use to determine the most shortest vector after the solution is obtained using the algorithm. In the next heading that is network example, we will understand all the points used in the algorithm. Now let's design a network model with five different nodes that are A, B, C and D with each node connected to each other using different network channel. The numerical values in the network channel refers to the vector count that is the distance from node A to node B or to some other node in the network channel. In a network model, each node share its vector data with its neighboring node at a regular interval as there are various updates in the network model. This data is shared in a form of routing table where three different columns are used. First being destination column, second 
vector column that is the distance node and lastly the hop. Let's take a look at the neighboring nodes for this model. For node A we have B and E as it is directly interlinked to the node A. For node B we have node A and node C. For node C we have B and D. For D we have C and E. And lastly for E we have node A and node D. These nodes represent only the neighboring nodes. Now let's solve an actual example on routing protocol to clear all our doubts and understand the key points. The example we will be taking to solve is this network model. The initial step to start solving the network model using the distance vector routing protocol is to make routing table for each of the nodes. Let's make the routing table for node A. This is the routing table for node A where we have destination as A. That means destination is A from node A. That means the distance vector should be 0. Then we have destination as B. Let's take a look. In this given example, there is no given connection between A and B. That means this distance vector would be infinity. Then we have destination as C. Similarly as node B, there is no direct connection between A and node C. That means this is also infinity. And same is the case with node D. And in the end we have node E that is the only directly linked node to node A. That means the distance given is 5. So the network vector is 5. Let's make an another routing table for node E. This is the routing table for node E. Let's take a look. In this routing table the first is destination to node A. According to the network model given, distance is 5. So the vector value is 5 with the hop to A. Then we have destination as node B. According to the model, the distance vector should be 4. Then we have destination as node C. As given, there is no direct connection between node E and node C that determines the value would be infinity. Then we have node D which represents direct connection with node E and the value is 7. And lastly E destination from initial point E would be 0 vector. Now let's make another routing table similarly for node C. Now using the same steps, you can make the routing table for the remaining nodes that is node B and node D. Now let's move on to the next step in solving the routing issue. This step is known as update step. In this step, we use the vector column from each of the node to update the vector column or the routing table for a particular node. In this part we will use node E's vector column to update the routing table for node A. And the steps are using the algorithm that is the Bellman fold algorithm we used earlier. As we already know moving from A to destination node A is always zero. So we won't be doing this step. Let's move on to the next one that is moving from node A to node B. That would be would be A comma E as we are using vector column of node E plus and the distance used to reach E from B. A comma E represents 5 and 
e to be represents 4 according to the network model. So the value is 9. Similarly, let's solve for a to c. To a to c we have a comma e plus destination required to move from e to c. According to the network model we have node a is only directly linked with node e. So the value would be 5. But there is no connection between node e and node c. So the value would be infinity. Moving on we have a to d. In this case we have a comma e. The value would be 5 plus e to d that is a direct connection and the value would be 7. So the total distance is 12. And the last one is a to e. For this we have a comma e that is directly the neighboring node. The value would be 5. So the new routing table for node a is 0, 9, infinity, 12 and 5. Similarly, let's take another node for this. For the next node, we will take node C. And we will update the routing table of node C using its neighboring nodes that are node B and node D according to the network model. Now, how to do this step? Firstly, it's C to destination A. In case of node B, we have C to A, that would be C comma B, that is a direct connection plus distance required from B to A. According to the network model, we have C comma B as 6 plus D to A does not have any connection, that is infinity. So the value would be null. Then we have node D. In this case, we have C comma D, that is a direct connection, 3 plus D to A, that is again infinity, as it is not linked directly to node A. Moving on, we have destination as B. For node B, we have direct connection, so C comma B value is 6. Whereas for node D, we have C comma D, that is distance 3 plus d to b that is infinity as it is not directly linked with the node b so again the value is null then we have destination as c so connection between c to c is 0 moving on we have destination at node d that would be c to d as c to d as there is no direct connection between node B and node D. So the value is infinity. Whereas for C to D is a direct connection for node D. So the value would be 3. Now for the last node that is node E. In case of node B we have C comma B plus B to E. Where the value for C to B node is 6 and B to E is 4. So the sum is 10. And now in case of node D we have 3 plus 7. That would be distance from C to D and then D to E. And the value would be again 10. So we can use any of the side to reach the destination node E. By completing all the steps we have the new table for node C. Similarly we can find the routing table for all the nodes present. Now to look into some key points we learned. For the initial step use only the node distance of immediate neighbors. Nodes without distance that is directly linked to each other is always infinity. For the update step use the vector table of the only neighboring node we have for the initial node and lastly to continue the update step roughly n minus 1 iterations are used where the value of n is equal to the number of nodes for example the model we took has five nodes that means we have to do a loop of four iterations
with this we have reached the end of the session if you have any questions regarding the topic you can ask them in the comment section below thank you for watching Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.